away the front half of the head. And also remove the head base. I'm going to remove this front plate. Okay, this is a lap. This allows us to now see into the rear half of the head. Okay. Okay, just trying to hmm. just trying to pick up um the top assembly I've got what I was trying to select now. Okay. This shows uh, the boom mic and top rear head assembly with its servo and its uh, control mechanism. Basically, as the servo moves clockwise and anti clockwise, it um, obviously moves the arm backwards or forwards, taking the boom mic up or down. That's quite straightforward. I'm probably going to be making a change here. Oops. Probably going to be making a change here and uh, removing this piece of plate, which is where the. Um, small radar dish goes. One thing I have started to do is I've started to put the affixing screws through from underneath that hold the heat sinks etc. Okay, I'm now going to close that part down well assembly down Okay. I'm not going to hide that. Okay, this is the uh, pop-up radar dish assembly. There is an, an arm to be affixed which goes on here, a linkage to take the platform up and down. For um, raising and lowering the pop-up antenna dish. Then the other servo is here for turning the dish left and right. Okay, I'm now going to close that.
and hide that assembly. Okay. This is the re the head rear servo assembly. On the original head, this was used to do the irises, etc. The centre servo would control the two irises. Okay. And the servo to the left and to the right of that centre servo were used for the left and right of the eye lenses. Okay. I'm not going to be using that centre servo to control the irises because I'm using um, separate servos actually on the oops actually on the uh, irises themselves. So that centre servo is probably going to be used to control the up and down of the pop up whip antenna. Okay, so I'll now, now close that. I hope you've enjoyed taking a little look around the card of the head.